Hi, Jamie. Hi, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you guys. Do you have someone joining you today, Mom? Uh, Miss Abby's joining me, yep. Abby wants to do yoga before bed every night. <laughs> but we couldn't because it was like Christmas and we, me and Will had to sleep in here because Grandma had my room. Uh, <laughs> but then Oliver was supposed to have Will's room, but then Oliver left. But I still wanted to have a sleepover with Will. Yeah, that sounds about right at our house too. We have That's too many beds in my yoga room now. Often. <laughs> Says my name, mommy. That's somebody else. Okay, we're, we'll mute ourselves. Yeah, there's another Abby here, Abby. <laughs> Big Abby and little Abby today. Well, welcome everybody. Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a great night last night. And I hope you're ready for this new year. I have a good feeling. I'm going to say that anyway. I'm going to keep that rolling. <clears throat> there we go, Alicia and Abby. Um, we had a good night last night. Got my tea this morning. And I am ready to start the day. So I drew for us two cards that I thought would be maybe good to reflect on for our practice this morning. Um, to being at the new year. So the first card reads, what can you release to connect to the source of your power? So that is our first thought for the day. What can we release um, in 2021? Um, so that, when we get into our uh, grounding, that's gonna be your first thought. What can we release to connect to the source of our power? And then the second card um, says, are you willing to begin again today? These are the habits I'm creating to become my highest self. So that's our second intention or um, question to ponder. Are you willing to begin again today? These are the habits I'm creating to become my highest self. So I chose these cards because one is about letting something go. And the other is about adding something um, or creating some new habits. Okay, so there you go. That's our mindset we're gonna start with. My husband put a huge, well, I should say my husband, Santa put a huge ping pong table in my yoga room. So um, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. I'm still trying to get my spacing right. There's no ping pong table. I'm going to release that right now. Santa Claus, you think on the table. Okay, let's go. Let's close our eyes or lower our gaze. And let's start to turn our awareness to our breath. So, taking some nice long inhales through the nose. Feeling the belly expand, so pressing out. And as we press out or we fill up the belly, that's allowing the lungs to expand down, making room for the lungs. And then nice big releases on the exhale. And this is where we want to imagine letting something go for the year. What can you release to connect to the source of your power? What can we leave behind in 2020? Let go of on the exhale. And then what are the habits or what are we going to create in 2021 so we can come from behind on the exhale and creating something new on the inhale 
we add to our lives to begin again today. And that is beginning this fresh new year. And I like how someone put it yesterday, I was reading um, a post. And we don't need to just do this on New Year's Day as a new beginning, but each day we get the opportunity to start fresh. So if our day didn't go as we had planned, each day is a new chance to let something go, to create something new. And maybe that's the mindset that we take for 2021, that each day we have been gifted a new day to start again. And that comes with just being a little more patient with ourselves, a little more kind to ourselves, being especially where we are in the world today, right? With everything that's going around, we can be a little bit softer. So with that, let's bring the hands together at the heart. Let's drop the chin to the chest. And then on the inhale, let's send the arms all the way up, stretching, lengthening, and then pressing away, and then bringing the hands back together. And let's just do this a few times. So we inhale up and we press away. And you can keep your eyes closed if you like as we move through. Make sure you bring your breath with it. Inhale, exhale. And then the next time you come around, inhaling up, let's exhale into a twist. So taking the hands the opposite knee, working through that spine, good, and then coming back to the center to catch that on the other side, so breathing in, and then coming to your twist on the other side. and back to center. So we're gonna stay cross-legged. We're gonna send the arms out nice and wide. Sitting up nice and tall, bring the belly in, engage the spot or engage the core. And then I just want you to wrap yourself in a hug. And then we're just gonna tip from side to side as we get that side body stretch, we create some space between the hips and the rib cage. Rocking from one side, and also giving left lean, here's gonna let her in. Tipping from one side to the other. And then coming back to center, Send the arms out wide again. So again, think about sitting nice and tall, pulling the belly button in. And then when you wrap yourself this time, other hand comes on top. So back wrapped up in that hug and then tipping from side to side. Good, and release. I'm gonna move my cushion out for the next one. We're gonna bring our hands to our knees and we're gonna do a seated cat cow this morning. So we did our nice twist on our spine. Now we're gonna flex the spine. So tucking the chin, rolling the spine on your cat, your seated cat, and then lifting your heart space and your gaze on your cow. So bring that breath back, inhaling on one posture, exhaling on the other. What are we releasing today on our exhales? What are we creating? 
get something that we can bring back. If the mind starts to wander, back to those thoughts are coming back to your breath. <clears throat> And then coming back to neutral, left stands, the right leg out, keep the left tuck in. We'll slide down towards that left shin, ankle or foot. Adding in the other arm, if you'd like a little extra. And then we're just gonna shake the head no here. Why not add in a little neck stretch while we're at it? Good. Okay, both hands are gonna come down on the inside of that leg. We're gonna sweep across. Enjoy that stretch just back. And then lift and lengthen. So on the inhale, we lift the heart space, lengthen the spine, and on the exhale, you just let yourself soften it. And release, we'll switch legs. We'll repeat the same thing on this side. So I know my wee Yogi Abby is here today and I know lots of other of you have kids at home. Yesterday we did kids yoga for New Year's Eve. And what we talked about with the kids and maybe if you haven't had a chance to do any of that kind of resolution stuff with the kids yet, what we did, and then we'll shake the head. No. How we phrased it was three stars. And I did this with my kids last night as well as the yogi kids online. I'll bring the hands down. So three stars are three things you're proud of or three things you feel like you're good at. So that was kind of our reflection on 2020. What were three things you were proud of or you felt like you were good at? So lift and lengthen. And then after the three stars, we get three wishes. So three wishes were what would you like to work on or what would you like to try for the new year? So just a little idea. It's different than a resolution, right? So they can think of three things they're proud of, that's their stars, or three things they think they're good at, and then um, the three wishes. Three things they want to try or want to work on. So we're in butterfly here. I'm just bouncing out the legs, soles of the feet together. And then I'm going to bring the elbows to the sides. I'm going to press them down. And you can just let that head fold forward. And here we're going to come to that breath. Filling up the belly, and then this big size on the exhale. Good, and we'll unwind back. I'm going to send my legs out nice and straight. Maybe give them a little bounce. And then reaching forward into our forward fold for a few more nice mindful breaths here. We're not worried about alignment right now. We're just taking a moment for ourselves on the stretch. And then as we come all the way up, let's bring the hands in behind. Let's point the toes. So let's reverse that with a reverse plank pose. Starting to get the muscles working a little bit. Maybe pull that belly in and then lower yourself down. We'll bring the feet to the edges of your mat for a little windshield wiper. I know I've been 
We're really feeling it in the back lately between snow shoveling and taking down a tree and cleaning up after Christmas. So nice back stretches here into the hip. Good. All right. So I was thinking today we would do a couple of sun salutations because sun salutation reminds me of a new day, a new year. Let's kick it off. So we're going to come to standing. And I'm going to put my computer on this ping pong table and hope for the best view I can get. Bear with me. I actually doubled up my mat so I could catch the whole thing. All right, so I'm going to lose my head, but that's not the important part here. So we're going to stand up nice and tall. Let's just roll back and forth on the bottom of our feet as we connect to the ground. Maybe close your eyes here just for a second. Did you feel the toes on the ground, the heels, the inside of the foot, the outside of the foot? And then let's ground the feet down and kick the arms in a big stretch up overhead, high mountain pose. And then we're going to swan dive it all the way down into our forward fold. We're going to press up halfway, making the number seven with your body, and then letting it fold back down. We're going to bring the palms to the ground now. We're going to step back with the left foot to start. We're in this little lunge pose, and I just want you to take a moment here to look up, drop into your hip before you slide the right leg back into plank pose. If you want to drop the knees in your plank pose, you can do that. And then we're going to lower ourselves all the way down. Hopefully you can still see me there. And then we're going to press up into our cobra. And then sending the hands to the edge of the mat, we're going to feel like it stops into our downhill. Good. We're going to step up with the left foot. So we're in our lunge on the other side. So again, take a moment to look up, look into the hip. Step up with the right foot. We're in our forward fold. And then nice and slowly, let's roll it all the way back up to our mountain pose. Good. I'm going to switch the angle. I'm going to come on this side this time. We're going to do that again. So big breath in, send the arms up. And forward fold. Bend the knees. Let everything hang. Bring the hands to the thighs. Press up halfway. Number seven with the body. And releasing it back down. Palms coming to the mat. Step back with the left foot. Left pose. Step back with the right pose. Right foot. Plank pose. Your choice here. You can drop the knees first and lower down. Or you can lower yourself nice and slowly down to the mat. We can press up into our plank pose maybe this time. So just suppose we have the forearms on the mat as well. Mix it up. And then we'll peel ourselves back up into down dog. Yeah, step up with the left foot. So we're in our lunge. Step up with the right foot. Forward fold. All the way up. 
Beauty, let's take that again a little faster. All the way up, high mountain. One-legged down, forward fold. Hands to thighs, halfway up, halfway left. Release. Sit down, palms to the mat. Let's step back with the left foot, lunge pose. Step back with the right, plank pose. Drop the knees or lower down. Cobra or sphinx, your choice. Curl the toes, feel the hips up and back. Downward dog. Step up with the left, step up with the right, forward fold. And then we'll peel ourselves all the way back up, standing. Angle my camera better. So now that we're in back and standing, what I want you to do, bring the palms of your hands together at your heart. I want you to close your eyes. And let's come back the breath and to our little thought today of letting something go or leaving something behind. Exhale. And creating something new. So for left hand, you're going to the way of eye joint. Are you at the toes to card for us today? And as you're just standing there in your Fair pose and matching pose. The first part was what can you release to connect to the source of your power? So what are we releasing today on the new day? And what are you ready to create? Or what habits are you ready to create? So what I want you to do is just let the hands come in behind, we'll interlace the fingers. We're just gonna draw the muscles down, open up the heart. And then we're gonna soften the knees so you have a little bend in them. The hands are still in behind. And I'm just going to tip forward at the hip as I come into a little bit of a forward fold. And if it's comfortable for you, leave the hands in their lace and bring them over as well. If that's too much, just bring them to your hip. Maybe coming forward a little further. Maybe letting the weight of the head. Take notice of your feet right now. Are you kind of pressing on the outsides of your feet? Heavy heels, the knee open. You try to make sure you're balanced on all parts of the feet. And then slowly we're going to roll up, tapping the chin as we do, releasing the hands, and then coming into our Kundalini twist. And we're just letting the arms float freely. Abby, little Abby, if you're still hanging in there, don't hit your mom when you're doing this. We're just going to let that spine loosen up. And as it does, the whole idea behind Kundalini Yoga, for anyone who's running Tuesday night class, is that there's an energy at the base of our spine and we're releasing that energy and we're building that energy so this is one of those easy exercises that we're trying to release that energy. <laughs> Good girl, Abby, you're still here. So this is where this one gets fun. You can even, you're supposed to actually, snap your backside. So see if you twist your hand so far that you give yourself a little Good, and then slowly, slowly. If 
like a spinning top moves as it spins back to center. Beautiful. And let's come back down to our mat. Nice and slow, nice and mindfully. We'll move on back down. If you have your cushion, you can place that back underneath. Good. And then all we're going to do for the last little bit here is take an arm in front. And take the other arm in front. Good. We're going to let the left hand fall down as we inhale the right arm up, spreading the fingertips as we reach for the sky with that right hand, and then just bringing the hand to the shoulder. We're just stretching through our tricep here, into the shoulder, the armpit, and if you need a little bit more, slide the left hand on the lower back. Good. We'll release out of that. We'll roll the shoulders out <clears throat> before we do the other side. So when you're ready, we'll let the right hand float down. We'll inhale, the left up. Spreading the fingers. Feeling and then letting the hand come to the shoulder. And sliding the right hand along the lower back if you need a little extra stretch. Good. And release it of that. So I'm going to invite you now to come onto your backs. We'll finish with a little relaxation. I'm going to slide down with you. So just coming down. You can start with the knees bent as we take them the width of our mat. And let's just come back to that windshield wiper. I find this just helps to release the back before we lay flat, especially if you're tight. And if you are finding that your back's been super tight and laying flat too much, you can just take the feet nice and wide and let the knees collapse on each other. So I invite you now to come down into your final relaxation, whether that's on your back or your side with the knees bent or straight. I'm just going to stop my video for, as I guide you through your final relaxation. So as we feel our body start to slow down and get nice and heavy, as we allow our eyelids to close maybe, And as we allow our breath to just come and go now as it pleases, a nice natural flow to the breath. And we'll return once more to our thoughts today on what we can release to connect to the source of our power. And as you're melting into your mat, maybe you're releasing a little more. Physically releasing, mentally releasing. We 
we ask ourselves, are you willing to begin again today? What are the habits that we're going to create for ourselves to become our highest self? start to bring your awareness back to your body and your breath. You can start to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. to make some movement with your hands and your feet. Start to stretch and move in any way feels good for you. So what does the body need right now as you reset? and continue with the rest of your day. So just getting any in any of those final stretches. And then 
slowly, if you're not already there, making your way to a seated position. We can bring our hands to our hearts, maybe closing the eyes still as we take a few more nice collective mindful breaths. And I say to you all, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you be whole. Namaste, everybody, and Happy New Year. Um, classes start back up the next couple of weeks. I'll see most of you then. Um, namaste, Rathlian. And if not, take good care, and um, we will see you soon. Bye, everyone.